Hi, it's Alaska Granny. What if you just got pinged? You can't leave your house for two weeks because of an emergency in your area. Do you have a food supply that you could actually eat if you had to stay home for two weeks? If you don't, here's a DIY must do now. Head to the grocery store and pick up these easy supplies so you have a two week emergency food supply in your home. Significant catastrophes happen all the time. It's not unreasonable to think that you may have to depend on yourself and the foods that you have in your home to last for two weeks. What can you buy that will help see you through? Get 20 pounds of rice, 20 pounds of beans. You don't have to buy them in a 20 pound bag. You can buy them in one pound bags, especially if you're buying beans. You can get then a huge variety black beans, pinto beans, white beans, garbanzo beans, lentils, split peas. You can have an assortment then of different foods, not just 20 pounds of pinto beans. One pound of rice will give you almost 600 calories and one pound of beans gives you about 1600 calories. So if all you had was a pound of beans and a pound of rice to eat each day, you could have enough calories to make it through, but nobody wants to eat just that. But that can be the staple, the foundation food that you begin with your emergency meals. All of this rice and beans is going to require water to cook, plus you're gonna need water preparing other foods. Make sure you have at least one gallon of water per person per day in your home. Get 20 cans of meats. They come in all kinds of varieties and sizes. Everything from tuna, chicken, roast beef, corned beef, ham, mackerel, sardines. Find the meats that you would want to eat and get them in sizes that would suit your family's needs. Pick up 20 cans of different kinds of beans that are already prepared. It can be everything from refried beans to baked beans to simple kidney beans, garbanzo beans, this is a great way to start a meal if you don't have time to soak or cook your dried beans. Get 20 fruit and 20 vegetables. Choose varieties that your family likes. One note about canned fruit is it doesn't last as long as other foods because of the acidity level. So rotate the canned fruits sooner than you would your other foods to make sure that they don't end up bulging, leaking, spoiling, wasting your food storage dollars. Get 20 ready to eat meals in a can. Soup, chili, ravioli, beef stew. Find foods that you enjoy eating. They're a quick, easy to open and eat meal. Canned foods certainly taste better if you heat them up, but it isn't necessary. In an emergency where you don't have any power or any way to cook, you can still open and eat your can of food. It's already prepared in the can. It may not be your favorite way to eat it, but it's certainly gonna help give you a meal and get you going. If you like to eat cereal, get the varieties that you would like. You can find shelf-stable milk. Look up the date on your package of milk. Some of them can sit in your pantry unopened for up to a year. You can even find, it looks like Nido milk, but it's actually pronounced Nido. It's a powdered whole milk. It's far better than any of the powdered non-fat dry milks. I just don't care for the non-fat dried milk. It didn't matter what recipe you put it in, there was no way to hide that flavor and taste. Another easy to have food in your pantry is just add water pancake mixes. It's an easy way to make a hot meal that only requires adding water. Make sure you include things like syrups and peanut butter. Pasta can live in your pantry for years, but you need to put it in an airtight container so that little critters don't get into it or chew on the box. Put your food in an airtight container to help it last longer in your pantry. Have some jars of sauce to go with your pasta. There's also ways that you can combine your pasta with some of your other ingredients to make different kinds of family dinners. There are probably boxed and cup meals that your family likes to eat anyway. Make sure that you have several of those on hand. Everything from macaroni and cheese, rice mixes, pasta mixes, couscous, and the little cups come in all different flavors too. If you need to do some basic cooking, make sure you have things like bouillon cubes, salt, pepper, seasoning mixes, oils, the things that would allow you to prepare the foods that you have. 
look on the back of the packages, see what additional ingredients are required, and make sure you have a supply of those foods. If you like coffee or tea, get a package. Canned foods from the grocery store isn't the only way to build your food stockpile. If you like to can, you can certainly can your own produce from your garden, from a farmer's market, make your own jams and jellies. There are lots of foods that you can home can yourself or even store in your freezer. Maybe you have a dehydrator, like I have an Excalibur. You can dehydrate foods and have those foods on hand also for your food storage stockpile. If you don't have at least two weeks of food in your pantry, head to the store for a DIY must-have emergency food stash stockpile. These are foods that are easy to get, most of them are inexpensive, and it's certainly going to go a long way toward helping you face any unknown adventure that could await us down the road. We don't know what could happen, but we certainly know we've had this pandemic, the coronavirus COVID-19 uh, stay-at-home orders. They're calling for second waves, resets, staying home again. We also know that there are crop failures all over the world. There's hurricanes, storms. There are all kinds of reasons why an emergency could come to you and your family and you want to make sure that you at least have the basics of food and water put away. There are all kinds of emergencies that could come your way. We never know when or what it will be, but we can have a supply of food so that we can take care of ourselves and our families for at least two weeks. That'll help ease the situation through whatever comes our way. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.